Chapters of the Nakba is over this Palestinian movie. I think they're either brainwashed or they're in denial, or they can't live with this, with the truth. Farhar, written and directed by Dereen J. Salam, is one of only a few fiction films to tell the story of the Nakba, the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians by Zionists during the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. Some Israelis and Israeli officials have called for the film to be removed from Netflix. Others threaten the director. It was the exact words from some Israeli journalists. If you don't send a proof that these events happened in Al Nakba time, so the attack will be even will will increase and it will be worse on you. Being attacked by the Israeli government uh, and it, like uh, accusing me that I'm I'm just putting lies in the film is very offensive uh, and accusing me that I'm an anti-Semite as a Semite woman. It's very offensive. We received a lot of uh, hateful messages to the film page, but also to my personal page, um, full of racist messages and sexist as well. And I think it's just, uh, it means how impactful and powerful the film is. The film tells the story of the Nakba through the eyes of a 14-year-old girl who was forced out of her home. I think it's important for people to learn about a story like Farha. It makes people see Palestinians as humans and not numbers, which is something the world needs to start doing. Between 1947 and 1949, Zionist forces killed at least 15,000 Palestinians and forcibly expelled more than 750,000 from their homes. They want the young to forget. They're depending on that, on the continuation of the state of Israel. And when I used to pitch the film, I always said the old will die, but the young will remember, hopefully, with a film like Farha. For Palestinians living under Israeli occupation, in exile or displaced, the Nakba is ongoing. It's very offensive, very uh, inhumane, very uh, unethical and unacceptable to deny a tragedy that a whole nation went through. And my grandparents are one of these people. But I think denying it is a continuation of the crime. A continuation for the Nakba. They ask me why open an old wound and I always say the wound is still open and still bleeding. It never closed. Despite the documented history of the massacres of the Nakba, Israel has a history of deflecting and denying its abuses and atrocities to this day. Israelis who carried out the Nakba have even confirmed the violence they committed against civilians, most recently in the Israeli documentary Tantura about a massacre in the town of that name.